Hi, today in this video we're going to talk about the Turbo 360 feature for Azure Documenter, which is used to generate documentation of your Azure solutions. This question came up when I was visiting one of our partners, Black Marble, recently, and a good friend of mine, Rick Hepworth, asked me if I could generate a document from an Azure DevOps pipeline. In this video we're going to have a look at how you can do that. So if we look at the um, core features in Turbo 360, the feature that we're going to look at today is this one here, Azure Documenter. We do have um, three other modules around the management of your solutions and around management of cost data, but today we're looking at um, documentation. So what Rick was wanting to do was he has a, um, an Azure DevOps pipeline. He has a repo that's used for deploying his application and... The pipeline basically has a bunch of tasks that will go and deploy the application down into his Azure resource group here. And the ask was, can I stick something in this pipeline which would trigger a document in Turbo 360? That document would then go and look at my deployed application in Azure, and then I could um, come in as a user to Turbo 360 to be able to view this document and it would have been updated as per the last deployment. So if we start having a look at how we're going to do this, so here we have um, Turbo 360's Azure Documenter feature, and here is um, on, the, on the side here, we've got the document we're going to look at today. So this one's my resource details document, and that basically points to Azure you would provide some configuration for something like a tag or a resource group that you want to point to or a subscription and you would generate um, a document from from that configuration so in order to be able to so in order to be able to generate a document um, we're going to need an api key so to get that key we go up to the settings section at the top we then go to our api keys over here and you can see i've got a couple of keys set up already you would go to generate a new API key. So we're going to need to have the post and get operations. And we would want it to use Azure document down here. And then you would give it a name. That'll create a key for you. And then you can see over here, um, I've got one I've already set up that we'll use for today's demo called generate documents. And that has here the Azure um, document feature. So let's have a look at how we can um, take this to the next level. Okay, so here we are in um, VS Code for a moment. So we're going to have a look at the script that we're going to use. Um, we'll have a PowerShell script that's going to point to our Azure environment, uh, sorry, point to our Turbo 360 environment and generate the document. So here I've got a um, parameter for the API key and the name of the document. So that... Um, out of that list of documents available, I would put the name of the one I want to generate here. I then have the root URL for Turbo 360's documenter feature. Now, just to note, if you had a private hosted instance of Turbo 360, that bit on the URL would change. But you can get, um, I guess if we go back a second, you can get all the details of, um, all the details of your um, environment can be got from here so if you click this little button there it takes it to the swagger file and you can see all the different API operations we've got available for um, automating Turbo 360 so if we go down this um, this script and just have a look so you can see here we're going to define some headers so we're going to make these two API calls I'm going to set a header that I can use to supply the API key and then I'm going to create a URL for the document configuration operation. Invoke the REST method to do a GET. Now what I'm basically doing here is I'm getting a list of those documents. And then down here I'm going to iterate through them until I find one here where the document name matches the document I'm looking for. And really what I want to get is this ID property and this document type property here. So once I've got the... Um, the ID and the document type. I'm then going to make another call to the API to generate the document. So I'll just be doing that on that um, invoke REST method call here. And that'll basically trigger the document to be generated in Turbo 360. So now I'm over in my um, Azure um, DevOps instance. I've got this um, 
generate document pipeline. So we'll just have a quick look at what this does. So it's a really simple pipeline here. You can see um, over here, I've got the PowerShell task that I've added. Now, in the real world, your pipeline probably has a lot of other deployment um, steps in this pipeline. Just to demonstrate the documentation feature, I'm just going to trigger the document. And you can see here, I've put the PowerShell script that we just looked at in the previous VS Code sample. The two bits I've changed, I've specified the name of my document here, and I've specified the API key to be read from a variable. So that's probably going to be like a pipeline variable or a common library variable that you might pass in. Or maybe you read it out a key vault or something like that earlier in the pipeline. So they're the two bits I've changed. The rest of the script's exactly the same. Now, one of the things you might do, maybe you would consider putting a, um, a task group if you're using classic pipelines so you can, um, you can make it easy to just call and generate your document or you may do um, like a shared YAML um, step that you can pull into your pipelines if you want to do this just if you're going to generate a lot of documents but here this is really how easy it is to um, trigger this document to be generated so if we then queue up this, um, this pipeline and we'll have a look at what's going to happen here You'll see it's it's going to kind of kick off the agent, so it's initializing the job, and then the, the pipeline step that we're looking for is uh, this one here. So you can see that's just running through. I'll just jump back to that step. So you can see here we've got this little message here that says document queued. So if we go back to Turbo 360 now, so I can see here there's currently this document being generated. That's the one we've triggered from the pipeline. So that may take, you know, really depends on the size of your application. So it may take just a couple of seconds to run. It may take longer if it's quite a big application or a document looking at um, a lot of different resource groups and stuff. That really just depends on the app. So we'll leave that running for a second and we'll, uh, we'll have a look at the document we get produced. And here you can see my documents uh, finished generating. So if I click here, could open this up and we can see um, some details about the document that got generated. So you can see we're looking at this particular, and then it's going to start going through all the different resources I've got. So there's quite a few different demos in here. So it'll go through, show me all the different resources we've got available, the resource groups, and then it'll go and start telling me about each of the resources and some of their information. So that document generation was triggered from the DevOps pipeline, and you could very easily trigger it with a document that was scoped to suit your application. Um, hopefully, we've uh, everyone's found this video useful today. We'd love to hear what kind of problems you're having in the real world that we can do future videos to help show how Turbo360 can help you solve some of these problems. Thank you for listening.